One of the most important services my show provides is to expose the cheaters who lie about their relationships. So, let's start the exposing. Please welcome Felina to the show. Felina, how you doing, honey? I'm fine, Bill. How are you? Hi, Felina. Why are you here today? I'm here to confront my boyfriend that's been cheating on me. He says that he's not, but I know for a fact that he's cheating. I'm how getting, do you know that, though? I'm a getting woman... phone calls from females telling me that they're pregnant. We're going out to the mall, and females are trying to beat me up. For instance, we go to the mall, and this girl screams his name from the store. Antoine! Antoine! Antoine, Antoine and runs up to him and says, um... This is my boyfriend. We've been together for six months. And I'm like, well, you've been together for six months? We've been together for three years. Are you serious? So we get to fight and security come and get us, tell us we have to go. We get to the car. He has the nerve to tell me, oh, don't worry about that. That's not no concern. I don't know her like that. He done never and met I'm her, like, don't know who it is. Yeah, all of a sudden, he don't know who it is. And another example, I follow him to the to a hotel room. He tells me he's going to the gym. And you two are living together. Yes, we live together. And he's together. going to go to the gym to work out. Yes, and I'm, I'm believing him because he's a muscular man. But at the end of the day, I follow him because my women intuition kicked in on me. And I go follow him. He ends up at a hotel room. Let me tell you the situation with this bitch. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't <laughs> oh, that means mean a lot anything. When you go knock on the door, he comes with his boxers on. Oh. But was any woman in there? He wouldn't open the door. He tells me to go and sit back in the car. So the detective I am, I go downstairs to the desk. And they give me the card, the receipt, and it's his best friend's name on the thing, saying that he paid for the room and he did all of this for him. So if you're going to the gym, how you end up at a hotel? Those are two different things. So, uh, but it, no woman was in the hotel room, right? Was, I know it was a woman in there. Who, who comes could, to the door with their boxes on? Don't you accuse each other of yeah, selling he, your bodies for money? You think your man is selling his body to these attractive women? Yes, he comes home with $300, and you know the excuse he gives me? No. He tells me... He went to help some old lady rake, rake her yard, and she gave him three hundred dollars. <laughs> I said, "Well, can I go rake that yard?" He was raking leaves he was for three hundred. He came home with three hundred dollars. How do you come home with three hundred dollars from raking leaves? What else did he do besides rake her leaves? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he raked a couple of leaves. He's always coming home with money. He tries to come home with gifts, trying to please me, saying, "Oh, baby, I love you. We're gonna get married." And I'm like, "No, we're not. I have kids. There are kids involved." In Doesn't their he feelings. accuse you of cheating? Yes, he accuses me. And you took me. a lie detector. Yes, I did. And he took a lie detector. Doctor says he accuses me of cheating. Are all you the selling time. your body for no, money? No, I'm not. I have children. I have little girls at that. So I, I value myself. I have daughters. So why would I do that? Does to he myself? accuse you of sleeping with some of his friends? Yes, he does. And I don't really know a lot of his friends. I know a couple. They come to the house, and nine times out of ten, he's not there. But I don't even let them in. Yeah. So how is they even coming in my house and you're not there, and then you're accusing me, but you got females screaming at me in the mall? All right, so you two are sleeping in bed. Does he follow you to the bathroom at night? He follows me to the bathroom. What does he think you're doing? He goes and looks in the closet. He looks under the bed. He comes in the house and starts looking out the back door, saying that he's finding boxers that are strange. You're a man. You wear boxers. You throw them on the floor. <laughs> so those are your boxers. What are these accusations back and forth doing to your relationship? A lot, because like I said, there's children involved. My feelings are involved. This is three years. You I, love, I you love, love him. him with all my heart, and I do want this to work. But if you're cheating on me, how is this going to work? Isn't he a, like a, a father to your five kids? Yes, he is a father to my five kids. He's children. a good man, right? He works. He, he is. He comes to work. A, lots, he makes a lot of money raking those leaves. He sure does make a lot of money raking leaves. All right, please welcome Felina's boyfriend, Antoine. Antoine, come on out. Lying, man, words do a lie, yo. Yo, we lying and painted. Yo, lying. I'm wrong with you, daddy. What's wrong with you? You can't do that. Man, you can't do that. Antoine, why are you so angry about this situation? And both of you, especially you, have agreed to stay in your seat, right? Man. All right. Now, why are you so angry? Let's do it. We're gonna hit the reset button. Why are you so angry? I work every day. Every day I go to work and try to help out my kids. I knew this girl for three years. So while I'm at work, sometimes I lie and tell her I'm not at work. You know what I mean? 
I just pop up on them. A you lot of saying? times you lie and tell me that you're not at work. And girls calling my phone telling me that they're pregnant. Come on, how did she even get my number? Girls following me at the I'm store. I'm doing this because she's cheating on me. I know she's cheating on me. How man. do you know she's cheating on you? Because uh, my friends tell me that she does stuff while I'm at work. So your friends are telling you they're having sex with He's her? He's accusing yeah, me of cheating. Yeah, my friends. Like, why would I sleep with an 18-year-old boy? You just moved somebody in the house. She moved two men in the she house. The first day she get the apartment, I moved in when I said, yo, babe, let's get some time where we can spend some time together. I Way moved to go. them in because I needed the extra help because Mr. Go to Work's not really going to work. Well, what? For you. They a want lot more you. than you. What they the, can at least take the trash out. You're not even home or you're stuck in your trash? cell phone. What the hell is trash and Who's money? Who's stuck in their cell phone all day? But who Who's calling for you, you at 2 or 3 in the morning? I provide for, you. for me. She what happened provide. in the hotel? It's kind of a little suspicious when a man goes to a hotel and checks in. Would you agree, Lord, on paper? Yeah, I had my homeboys oh. in there, Bill. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have some woman in a hotel room with your homeboys and some boxers? How weird is that? <laughs> How weird is that? Nah, nah, nah. I was in my box because we just woke up. You know what I'm saying? So it, you're it, in a hotel room with dudes and y'all just woke up and you're in your boxers? No, y'all got... Nah, we're... we're nah, That's we, a little suspicious, Antoine. I mean, nah, Just nah, a little. Nah, nah. Me and my boys... Did you ever chilling. cheat on her? Yes. Nah, nah, you nah. You never nah. cheat? Nah. Never yes. did. Words you you know you cheat did. on me. Nah, I mean, you're going to look me, me you're going to tell me. I'm the hearing rumors I'll that you're trying. sleeping with family members. Are you what? serious? What? I'm following what? you, and you're telling me you're going so to you the gym, and you my, end up... You ain't sleeping with my man, is it? No, I'm not. Words you lying. What man are you talking about? That's a lie detector test, so it's going to come out today. Nah, it's all going to come out. Yeah, it's going to come out, you know what I'm saying? Does she wear seductive clothes? If she fell, I'm not going on with it, you know what I'm saying? You're done with this. Yeah, if she fell, I'm done. What if you're the cheater and she's not? I mean... Hotel room, boxer shorts with the homeboys. I don't know about that. Girls screaming across the store. Girls yeah. calling saying they're pregnant. Tell me, Antoine, how did she get my phone number, Antoine? How did she get your phone number? How did she get my phone number? So what? How I find lingerie? You now I mean, I bet one day, one day I come home, I find lingerie, and I say, Yo, where you get this from? You know what I'm saying? And that's not on that time. I found the guy boxes. You're a and guy. She you she put your boxes she on she the floor. Me, she told me it was it was a bigger size. She told me it was her uncles. You know what I'm saying? Her yeah, uncles right. boxers yeah. on her floor. At times I'm laying in the bed and I fake sleep sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what about the text messages when we were laying in the bed? Something, something, something. Let's get together so I can do something. What, what's up with that? And then when I tell you to go back to the message, you tell me, oh, don't worry about that. There ain't no message there. That's Facebook, boo-boo. I know the difference between a Facebook box and a message box. I what was born yesterday. What about raking the leaves for $300? I want that game. Don't y'all want that game? Did, did you rake this old woman's leaves for $300? Yeah, And yeah, you did yeah. nothing else? <laughs> but what kind of yard was this for $300? Yeah. Can $300. I go over there and get a job? But I'm supporting you, though. So why worry about You're what I'm saying? You're not even there to support me. I but asked what, what you. You don't even call me beautiful no more. They moved out because of your crazy self. Yeah, so you ain't crazy asking me who I'm texting and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I'm crazy. I've done stuff to you, and I have. I admit that. So what about... What have you, you done to him? I, I pulled a knife on him. I sure did, because he came home acting stupid. And I pulled a weapon on him because I thought he was going to put his hands on me. So I defended myself. Look at him and look at me. He's a big man. He's a strong man. I have, I have are you going to pass a lie detector? I surely am. Are you going to pass a lie detector? Yeah, yeah. I like to hear a definitive yes when I ask that question. All right. Have you, do you suspect men are sneaking out of her back door? Yeah, all the time. I was about to say that. You know what I'm saying? One time I told her I was at work. So I pull up. I go in the house. I say, yo, who you on the phone with? And then she, the look on her face, like, yo, why you ain't at work? And then I hear the back door. So she, she said, I'm on the phone with my mom's. Just I was like, like yo, <laughs> I don't know how you on the phone with your mom's and you hang up real quick. How do you I hang, hang up, up real hang quick? Up the phone but, but you quick. can have text messages and phone calls at 2 o'clock in the morning and get out of my bed and go step outside and answer these phone calls and then say, oh, yeah, I'm going to the hospital because such and such happened. So tell them about you sneaking in and out the bed at night. What you doing then? I go to the bathroom. You're just crazy. I go to the bathroom. <laughs> Come on. Antoine's sister is up next, and better look out, Felina. His sister's here. Stay right there. More drama. You Support suspicion. What you about him? I love him. Today's about cheating and lie detector test results. Both of my guests here say they're going to pass the lie detector, but there's a person with a different perspective. Please welcome Antoine's sister, Gloria, to the show. Gloria, come on out.
house. Hey, you didn't know him. Who is going to have a problem with him? Hey, you didn't know him. You didn't even tell him. You didn't even tell him. You know, right? Come on, sit yeah, down, man. Let's sit down, Gloria. G L O R I A. Sit down, Gloria. <laughs> Gloria, I wanna, I wanna be able to talk and not yell. What have you seen her do that makes you think she might be cheating on ben, your brother? I just sat in her house. What and happened? She, and my, my brother be at work. I sit in her house. Yeah. Be at work. She talk, another honey. man That's come in the house. A man get go in to the bedroom and have a proper conversation. Yeah. Ain't no reason why you taking a different man. Club. Did you Ooh. see her at the club with another man at the yeah. club? What was she doing? Dancing and everything. I mean, she was grinding all on this man. She was club. grinding on yeah. some dude. She probably took him home, too. I took him home. I took him home. Yes. How did I take him home? How did I take him home? You got rumors around town, so you probably took him home. Yes. That's fine. You got rumors around town, too, honey. Let's go. Let's go. Wait. Felina, were you at a club grinding on a man? I wasn't grinding like that. Of course, when you go to a club, you dance. You drink. I'm not going to do it. I ain't 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 going to do it. What about the hotel, honey? What about him in a hotel and his boxers with his homeboys? With my man's What about that? He's always at home. How can he defend that? Have you seen her in cars with other men? Yeah. One at a time. What have you seen her? Me and my home guy, we were special with your uncle or your cousin. Of course, I have friends. I have male friends. Yeah, okay. You probably female friends. Have friend. you seen yeah. naked photos Sorry, of her on a phone? Yeah, Talk about, about the naked photos. She got naked pictures in her in her phone. Is that it's true? There's no reason. There's no reason you got naked brother. Why? When he sleep with you every night? There is no reason. No. How long he want naked pictures and he sleep with you every night? Because it's entertaining for him while he's at work. That doesn't make sense. Not at all. It makes a lot of sense. Why would he want naked pictures? Why would he want naked pictures when he see your body? Every night and every night. Every night when he provides everything from the chair. Everything. How That's does he get I'm that saying. money to provide? He works. He rake leaves. <laughs> do you think you're <laughs> Do you think you're <laughs> on her? No. I rake leaves. I she's she's, she's, them leaves. she's rake the leaves. cheater. Yeah, because What's he, he don't making money? He's raking those leaves for three hundred dollars. That's yeah, he's making them leaves, all right. You see this relationship. Should these two be together? No. If these Because he can find better, he deserves better. I can do better. Than that. I can do a lot better. So what you worried about him so for? Yeah, what are you going to do better? I love Where him. Where he go to work? I love him. I why? Because you're cheating. Here. You're cheating. That's no, why he's the cheater. cheater. What if you both are? We're not Will you stay with her if she's cheating and you're cheating? It's not worth it. Yeah, he's, he's okay with that. He said he's okay with that. That's fine. Are you cheating on him? You got naked pictures in the phone. And you got dudes coming out of the back of the house. You got your uncle's underwear on the floor. She can't no. look you in the face with a straight no. face, man. Neither can him. No, I'm not. She can't look you in the eye when she tell you that. No, I'm saying. Look me but in the you, eye. Tell you, me. No, Bill, I'm You're not. You're not cheating. I've been 100 look me in the eye. You Nah. Yes. I believe her, no. and I don't believe him for face. some reason. All right, let's <laughs> do this. We have the lie detector test results coming up. But, Gloria, a point made by, by Flint. Maybe you should back out of this relationship a little bit. No, because that is my brother. Yeah. That's your brother. That's your brother. You know it. How do you know he's not doing it? I'm pretty sure you're helping him cheat on me. I'm pretty sure you're helping him cheat on me. No, for what? Has he cheated cheat on any previous girlfriend? No, never did. No, never did. You love your brother. You sent her to my house to come over there and keep me company so you can do what you got to do. Because you know I'm going to blow up that phone, and if you don't answer it, I'm going to come look for you. You damn right. I'm going to come look for you, and you better hope I don't find you. You better hope you pass the test. You better hope you pass it. Why don't you trust each other? None of you really have hope. Hard evidence yet of cheating. Why don't you just love each other and move down the road? Why don't you just love? Because I build the drama all day. This, this is what I do all day. Does this happen at home? This, all this is what happens. Kids, kids, all in the house. Day. I hear this all day. Know what I'm saying? This she is what I got to do. Do you fight like this in front of the kids? Yeah. Yeah. She nagged him. That's not good for the children. He didn't even say that's what I told him. That's why we're here. We're here today because I don't have time for this. I have kids. Man, first of all, how are you going to be seen in the streets with your mans and them? Everybody's smirking and laughing when you get off so work. So your, you know your buddies saying? laugh at you because... Yeah, yeah but they all should be laughing at me when you got chicks texting my phone saying you're pregnant and you raking leaves. Come on, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that. They lying, yo. Not me. They're lying. I don't believe that at all. No, These women are lying on you. Yeah, they lying. How about the woman in the mall? 
What about the woman in the mall? The woman in the mall was my people. That was my cousin. No? It was your cousin. Yeah. Your cousin. She so says he had told me I've been dating for six months. So tell another lie. Were you dating your cousin for six months? The, exactly. I'm sitting there about to fight this girl. Security had to come and get me. I didn't fight her because I got kids at home to think about. I don't have time for that. kids at home to think about? What about when I'm at work? What, what the guy sneaking in? Don't the kids Tell see that? Tell the guy sneaking in out of but nothing. Got, well, yes, don't you do. think if guys yes, are sneaking in and out, my kids is going to tell you? They be because at school. They, like they be daddy. at school. I still got two babies sitting at home, Man, crazy. I ain't going to say nothing. You can tell them anything. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Line detector test results coming up, plus another couple in fiery feud. Stay right there. Extreme measures. Did she light the bed on fire? Oh man. Well, what'd she do? Why, why I'm in it. You're in the bed. She let, I she wanted him out. She, she let, I wanted him out. She wouldn't get out my she bed. Over cheating suspicions. I fan texted yeah. his phone to her. I love you. Can I come to see you? Come to the door. Uh. Don't miss the truth. Have you had any sexual relations with any other woman? You said no. That was... If you love watching from your couch, wait until you see us live. For your free tickets to a taping in New York City, go to our website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8... You know, some couples have fiery feuds, and some other have really fiery feuds, and today, guess what? We have both. Please welcome Karen to the show. Karen, how you doing? I'm good. Hi, dear. Hi, Hi, Karen. Why are you here today? Well, I'm here today because I think my boyfriend is a lion, cheating dog. No question about it. No question but about it. But what evidence do you have? Well, first of all, Bill, we've been dating for almost two years now, and I probably should have took the red flag from the beginning, but I didn't. And, but, however, like, one month after we met, like, he tries to get on with my cousin, right? One Your month, cousin, a family member. family member, yes, sir. He's hitting on a family member. Family member. Okay, first of all, she, like, stays in my house because she missed her ride home or whatever, and then he, like, slips off to his friends, you know? Then, like, 2 in the morning, she's out of nowhere. Oh, I need to go to the store and get cigarettes, and he still wasn't home yet, so something was telling me, like, something's up, you know? Something ain't right, so I went looking for her, couldn't find her, so I went to go look for him. And sure enough, what did I see, Bill? Hmm, he comes to the window, looks out, Oh, my God. So he, he did come to the door, though, and let me in. But guess what? He's sweating. Well, what did your cousin say about this? Oh, well, it was, well, I'm getting ready to go back to your house. I just uh, walked down this way because there were cigarettes here and, you know. Talk, so about, just... talk about finding the condoms in the wall. Oh, my Lord, Bill. Like, okay, there's this neighbor in the neighborhood that, uh, well, that's just condoms been a problem throughout the relationship because, you know, after we decided we were going to be together, that we no longer needed those. But throughout, we've con I keep constantly finding them in his wallet, in his pants. You don't use condoms. No, we don't. So what does he say when you, when he, when you find condoms? Oh, my God. And the first time, Bill, he tells me, oh, I'm holding on to them for my friends and this kind of stuff to have them on deck I've for I've heard them. that before. Uh, I've heard that before. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. And then one day he gave me this serious scenario about a, a just-in-case just in case thing. something like, arises. Just in case, due to my past, I, just in case. And I'm still steady saying to him, like, we're not using them. Like, why are you doing this, you know? And he comes up because I'm holding them for friends. I'm holding them for friends. What yeah. about uh, he suggested group sex oh, with co-workers? <laughs> yeah, I, had a, I like to help people. So a co-worker friend of mine needed somewhere to stay for a little while. So I let her come stay. And after she was there about a month, here he comes out of nowhere. Hey, I, don't get mad at me, but I just wanted to ask you, what do you think about me, you, and her, you know, getting down? together like you know for more money type stuff i'm, I'm just group sex with it's a just appalling and this is a person i'm supposed to be in a relationship with like so and yeah sure i think he's doing things didn't you yeah. find a woman's sweater and what you do with oh it? oh my god yes i burned it you burned it i tore it up i burned it wasn't it. Yes, your sir. sweater you're was sure. not mine was not mine i seen the neighbor wearing it the girl because i liked it because of the way it was designed and i thought oh i like that but then sure enough it was in my house i found it in my baby's walker my and grandbaby's so, walking. Well, what did he say when you found a neighbor woman's sweater in your home? Oh, that, that it was not hers. It wasn't hers. All right. Now, what do you want to see happen today? Because he took a lie detector test. Well, okay, Bill. With all the stuff that's going on, you know, I'm hoping that he passes his test. But, however, if he does pass it, I still want to address the issues of the disrespectful things with the female friends and the texts in the phone. The just the whole nine yards. It's a lot of issues. Very much so. From what I heard, if he passes the lie detector test, I'm going to pass out. But it's always possible. <laughs> yeah, Please pass welcome out too, Bill. Karen's boyfriend, Sonny, to the show. Sonny, come on out. <laughs> Have a seat, Sonny. Hi. Hey, man. Listen. It sounds like you've been caught red-handed. I mean, I, I put myself in, in awkward positions, but... 
But uh, I, ha I haven't cheated on her since I've been with her. I've been faithful with her. You know what I mean? Uh, and didn't you pray to God to have a woman like this? Yeah, yeah. I God pray, Almighty I pray, I pray. has blessed this relationship. I, I, I prayed because, you know, my life was going a different way, so I asked the Lord to bring a woman to my life. The Lord. Yeah, so right. God he sent her to you, yeah, yeah. and that's why you won't cheat on her. Right. Well, I mean, well, he was the next thing. She was the next thing that that's came and happened. So I, I've been, I've been, I've been working with her, yeah. going, going through all this, all this abuse that I take from her. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. You uh, take abuse from her. Yeah, right. Well, well yeah, well, hey. yes, I do. You know, well, let's go over the issues. Why do you have condoms in your pants and your wallet? Why do you do that? Well, well, first of all, I, I had them in my wallet for a long time. I don't even carry no wallet, so I don't care. So I don't care. just stuck this old stuff. I don't care. I don't carry them. Around. You don't like care. In my, in my bag, in That's my bag, I had them in there for my, for my dudes who I be with. So you just hand them out to your friends in yeah, case right. they need them. They I mean, can buy yeah, them at the yeah, store. Yeah. Or, or How about the store? They sell, sell them. them. You yeah. know what I mean? In the streets, I sell them. What about the you know neighbor's I mean? sweater that was in your house that she set yeah, on fire? I, I, I told her about that. I told her I came home from jail. Somebody gave me that in jail. That's right. right. But she don't believe me because she never she, saw Someone it. gave she me a woman's sweater in jail? She never had that shirt on again. Never, ever again did she ever have it on because I burned it. Okay, well, okay, well, well. Are you thrown out about every week she throws you out of the house? Oh, man, look, man, it's so bad. It's so bad, man. I I live in suitcases. Yeah. I, I keep my stuff in suitcases. I already it's true. packed it's because, true. She, because she flipped the script on me every no, other day. No, it's because he always gets it's, caught it's up once get every out. other week because getting done doing something. I does she light the bed Texas? on fire? Oh, man. Well, what'd she do? Why, why I'm in it? You're in the bed. She let, I she wanted let, him out. She, she let, I look, wanted him out. She wouldn't get out my she bed. She let the bed on fire. She let Go the get in her bed. So I lay in. Go get in her bed. Okay, let it burn. Let it burn. The so fire. you're in bed. It, he it won't get out. So you got a lighter fluid in a match. That's that's right, you set the bed on. It's a burning bed. Because I find text in his phone to her, I love you. Can I come to see you? Come to the door. Wow, right. So I bet he left the bed when you caught it on fire. He got out of the bed. Get up out my bed. True, I'm sorry. But the bottom line is, whatever. You're guilty. You never had sex out one time outside never. of the relationship. Never. Never. I never. never. Had Did you sleep with a neighbor? Sleep with a cousin? No. no. Sleep with a coworker? No. no. Since I've been, since I've been made a commitment to her, I never. The Lord been. sent her to you. I've never what? been to another with. An, what? Physical with another female. Never. Man, who knows what you do? You. Okay. Well, why are you going through okay. all that? That's what you Why are you disrespecting your relationship you for a friend? I'm not disrespecting Is your friend nothing. worth your relationship? I've been knowing my friend. Is your friend going to put you somewhere you. to live? I've been knowing my friend long so as I've been what? knowing you. So what? If they worth your, they won't so, let you so, come so, stay so there. Loyalty, loyalty don't mean nothing to you. Loyalty to who? To her. You I've been knowing her. I've been knowing her. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? I've been knowing you. You heard that. So let that be why we're here today. Did you ever suggest a co-worker have... Have uh, multiple well, sex right. partners. You ever have multiple sex? I mean, oh, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I, I bring that to work. Yeah. Did God I, tell I, you to do I, that I, too? I yeah. That Did God? After he no, got blessed no, with such no, a good woman, no, he, he after he got that. blessed with such but a good look, woman, look, I, I, I brought that to work. I might have been wrong for that. Might have been wrong. I might have been wrong for that. Right, but but I kept it. I kept it 100. You kept it 100. I kept it 100. You admit it. You, you admit it. You wanted it. Well, she asked me, but, I, but I didn't do it. Did you I ask do her? Did you ask me? That didn't do it. But you didn't do it because she said no. She said no. He comes at me like I don't want we, you to be we, mad at me. We, well, we, what do you think was going to happen? Because of what she said, I brought it to her attention. You she brought it to her attention. I brought it to her attention. So it was an offer. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been physical with any females. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Because and then Bill gets this. Wait a minute. The one night he has a job that he wants to go perform at midnight out of the blue. We're finna go to bed, and then all of a sudden he. He goes, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot I got to go do something. So I got to go check out this uh, yard or something I got to go do. And I'm like, tonight, right now? It, it midnight? Midnight. Yeah. So he comes in the room and goes in his drawer, gets stuff out of his drawer. And I didn't pay attention, but I'm like, well, I'm going to go with you because it's late night. This summer, nice walk, right? Oh, no. I couldn't go with him, right? But anyway, I walked in so far. Then about 40 minutes later, me and the neighbor, we're just out browsing around. All of a sudden, who do we see? Sonny. Running up in this female's house with his bike. I wish I could just show you. Can I show, show me? You? Show oh, me. Oh, he's like this. Because he saw us coming. I know he did. He's like, oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And then he drops the bike running up in her house. Is that no true, Sonny? Uh, then yeah, yeah, after he shut the door, my it's hand was on the knob it's like it's this. What were you doing in the females it. at 2 in the morning? Friend, it's the same friend who whatever. Way at 2 in the morning. 2 in the morning. And you got a woman at home, and you think that's okay? I think Guess what? And then he had a bag with nothing and battery charger. Yeah! Think what you no, want. But you ain't doing what you want. Here today to find out. Yeah, Karen's are. daughter is next. She's going to hit the stage. Stay right there. You know you a dog. You know you don't deserve my mom. You need to go find dog. somebody who will let you treat them that way. This cheating drama is about to get loud. If you respect your woman, then that friend should be out the window. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
And scandalous. Does he check out your booty? Oh, oh wow. Yes. yes. I have caught what him. What does he do? Like this? I have caught him. I walked in and I do wear I mean, I wear sexy. I look at it. I look at it. I look at all females. And all the results you've been waiting for. That was a lie, too. Is your ex trying to ruin your life? If you want to get him or her out of your life for good, maybe we can help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-YOU-ASK-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Of course, message and data rates may apply. Let's put the cheese on the cracker. What's your wish for your child? To protect her from what I can protect her from. That he never has troubles. To have a head start with finances. Rather than wishing on a penny, why not start their financial future with the Gerber Life Grow Up Plan? This is something that's going to benefit him when he's 18. $10,000 of insurance protection automatically doubles to $20,000. you stick pennies in a change jar, stick them in a policy. Call 1-800-417-6880 for a grow-up plan. That's 1-800-417-6880 or visit growup.com. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. Our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you. You pay no fees unless your case is settled. Don't fight this alone. Please call 800-378-8409. Can Bosley regrow your hair? This is my own growing hair that I can comb, cut, style, do whatever I want with. The results I have achieved have been exceptional. This is my real hair. I can do with it whatever I want. This is mine. Bosley gave me my hair back. I cut this hair. I wash this hair. I mess this hair up if I want to mess this hair up. I can't explain to you the way that it made me feel to be able to wear my hair down, go out on a date and have confidence again. Can Bosley regrow your hair? This is my hair. This is my hair. Call or go online for your free, no obligation self evaluation kit. Plus, call in the next six minutes, and we'll even send you this $250 gift certificate. The information is free, so choose to grow back your own real hair. Choose Bosley. Call now. If you've been hurt on the job, fight for all the work comp benefits you deserve. At Handler, Henning, and Rosenberg, we will fight to get you weekly workers' compensation checks and medical treatment with a doctor of your choice. Heard on the job? You may be entitled to a lump sum settlement. Call Handler, Henning, and Rosenberg right now for help with your work comp claim. Heard on the job? Get the power of Handler, Henning, and Rosenberg. Call 1-800-LAW-4000. One call does it all. When I got hurt in a car accident, I expected the insurance company to be on my side. Turns out they were only looking out for themselves. That's when I decided to call Freeburn and Hamilton. In my experience, insurance companies try to avoid paying injured people the money they deserve over 90% of the time. Call us right now. I called the Sevens and Freeburn and Hamilton settled my case for $215,000. Call the winning number. Call the Sevens. It's just that easy. Don't delay. Call the Sevens today. I'm very pissed off. She deserved way better than that. He's a dog. He knows he's a dog. He's a cheater. How many more times do you have to catch him doing things? Today's about relationships on the brink. Karen, is it possible you're a bit paranoid and that you see things yes. that aren't there and you feel things that don't exist and you're making all this up? Is that right? Is that what's going on, Sonny? No, yeah, that's, no what, that's what I feel. Uh, she might not I'm be not making, making it up. up because but everything, she, she ain't if I'm paranoid, it's because of the things I've caught him doing. You know, she I have proof. proof. I think Texas. I find Texas. all the above. Texas. Yeah. Two o'clock in the morning, I going catch to him a going woman's house. other women's houses, and he thinks that's acceptable at 2:30 And he's sweating with these other women. Oh yeah, Bill. But I'm tripping. You're I'm tripping. paranoid. Please welcome Karen's daughter, Demetria, to the show. Demetria, come on out. <laughs> what do you think about him? You know you a dog. 
you know you don't deserve my mom. Ruth, you need to go I'm find somebody who will let you treat them Ruth, that way. Look and you deserve ignorant, better. Ignorant. I don't know why you keep accepting the things that he's doing to you. You got enough well, proof. Well, How much well, more do you need before I don't, you decide I just to want the, this test today to sh tell me the truth one way or the other. Me. Yes, ma'am. Now, what was the truth? Without the test, you've already had enough proof What have you seen with your own eyes? What have you seen? Oh, my God. Not rumors, not allegations, not hearsay. Your own eyes. I've seen for myself. I've seen for myself. I've seen the way he interacts with this girl. I, I, and when he comes, when she comes and? around to our house, or to my mom's house, and? it's always, you know, it, it, it just, yeah, it just looks friend. crazy. I can't, it's unexplainable. I can't explain she's it. A, she's a friend of but friend if, you, if you respect your woman, then that friend should be out the window. Thank you. Period. Thank you. Thank you. You put no friend in front of somebody who's laying up with. You don't do that. I can't agree with you. No, I don't agree with you. I've been on her for six years. I don't know what six years. She won't let you come stay with her when you get to that. Does he check out your booty? Oh, oh wow, yes. yes. I have what does him. he do like this? I have caught him. I walked in and I do wear I mean, I wear I look at it, I look at I look at all females. Oh, oh, oh my god. I mean, but I don't touch him. I don't touch him. I don't touch him. I don't come at him like that. I got one for you. Two weeks ago, we were over his daughter's house. Hold on, Demetrius. Hold it. Hold it. Two weeks ago, I mean, just a flashback. Two weeks ago, we're over at his daughter's house, and she's showing him pictures in her cell phone. But we run across, yeah, we run across this one photo, and it's like, oh, my God, that looks like some girl I used to do it to. Oh. And I'm like, in my face, though? Did no, you like, not realize no, that I was sitting no, right respect. here? How about every day? What does your mom do? Your mom calls you crying? Yeah, she calls me, and she tells me all about all their problems, and I'm just tired of hearing about it because I feel like she deserves that. better. And for that. her to be my mother, she should set a better example. Doesn't she pick bad men all the time? Someone. She's always picking I probably bad. have. You pick bad dudes? I probably have, have you and I'm that? tired of it. That's why we're here today, because I want to stop that same old pattern, you know, and go forward with my life. I'm, I deserve to be happy, and I deserve to be with somebody who wants to exactly. be with me or else do me alone. I do want to be with you. I do want to be with you. I want to be with you. I do want to be with you. That's why the bed was on fire. I don't cheat on her. I and don't she should have. And she should have. She, she said should've. Should've. he wouldn't get out of bed, so she put it on fire. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, she Maybe you needed to get your butt up and walk out. He, I bet he did that. Go. He got up, didn't well, he? Well, yeah, it burned so far, yeah. It burned so far, got yeah. up. I, I can't say that he's an all-the-way bad person, but he don't deserve right. to be with my mom. What happens if he passes a lie detector test? If he passes, they still don't need to be And together. these allegations they are false against this good, truthful man. He's looking for love. The damage that's been done to exactly. try to build back on that. Exactly. The trust is gone. You can't build it back up. Too much disrespect. And you see how he says here, so what? So what? Right, so therefore you don't care nothing about me. I do, man, I'm but you sorry. you don't care about me. You don't okay, care. You don't care about me. You don't care what I'm going serious? through. You don't know what you don't know what I'm going through. I'm there for you all the time, every all day. The time. All everything all the time. that you not like this, man. This not, not, not like this, day though, one. man. Yeah. This is all part of it. Man, you, what don't, do you, mean? you don't trust me. Why? No. Come on. I don't trust you either. Trust you? Well, why? Well, trust I, you I, either. I, I don't do nothing for you. You, can, for you, you got sneaky ways but, about Okay, yourself. so you don't think man, looking man, in your man, phone, look, oh, look, well, man, I was looking look, and man, I look, found man. it. I felt it and I looked and I found oh, it. I, mean, I love okay. you. I tell, I tell can I come to see you? I tell a lot of my friends that I love you. Oh, you follow through that whole process. But what are you willing to sacrifice? Karen, we got... No, when you find out that When we continue, we have three lie detector tests coming up, including yours. It's critical in this relationship. Why, what? You both may owe him a real I large well, if apology. I owe him an apology I LED give him tester one. next. Stay right there. <laughs> you two love each other, right? Yeah. Yes. Now, what happens if he passes? Is all this in? Well, this is the thing. I, I, I will leave that part alone, but I still would like to address those issues, the disrespect. Maybe he does things to make you think he's cheating when he's not. Have you thought about that? Right, right. Because he wants to have a happy life. Be peaceful. I, I, I do want to be happy, man, but I'm going to be me, man. For your free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham Show live in New York City, go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call 888-710-8425. After all the charges, we finally have the lie detector test results right here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You ready for this, Felina? I'm ready. You're ready? I am ready. Are you ready? Sis, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Because you've said you've seen... I'm ready. You've seen all the... So I need to separate you two. You okay? No, we're fine. Yeah, so your reaction when your brother found out he did your brother been cheating Antoine, on you. are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm good. Let's go to you first, Felina. Okay. Felina, allegations about your cheating and more. 
Felina, have you ever sold your body for money? No. No, and that was the truth. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's one 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 and that was the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more. One more. And this was the third question we asked. During your relationship with Antoine, have you had any sexual relations with any other men? And according to my lie detector, as you know, Felina confessed that over the past month, she's been having sex with another man. But the modesty. Uh, but the modesty. But the modesty. Man is not even telling you you're beautiful anymore. He's not coming home. Nah, he got text messages from girls telling them that she wanted to do that. Okay, well we about to get his line of text. Oh, trust me, we about to get his. Let's finish this up. Antoine, you ready for your test results? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't say you passed with flying colors. Antoine, number one. You know, just for only one. There was an allegation you're raking those leaves for three hundred dollars. Have you ever sold your body, Antoine, for money? You said no, and that was the truth. No, no. Okay. I apologize for it. I apologize. Number two, since you and Felina have been together, have you had sexual relations with any other woman? You said no, and that was a lie. See, you want to talk about me? You see what I'm talking about? No, no, that's the, the, they, they messed up. They messed up. That, the lie detector is not. Word is wrong. You've been doing the same thing. I told the truth. He lied. 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 He Hold on, honey. I need you. I don't I don't what? Yeah, do better. Guess what? I surely can. I surely will. I gotta listen do to this, better. honey. What you was doing? Please, though? please tell me. Hold on, Antoine. Yeah, yeah, listen to this, honey. I wanna hear this. Our experts said on, that man. Antoine has slept with a family member of yours at least 35 oh times. Oh my God! Are you serious? And oh, there's more. There's more. And he has slept with a friend 27 times. Are you? Really? Really, Antoine? Three years? Three years? Because you've been cheating on me, though. I cheated on you with one man. So that's enough. That's enough. You cheated on me with my family and my friends, stupid. Oh, my God. I sit in front of these people's face looking like a damn idiot. Yeah, you came on the show. Wait a minute. I shouldn't have came on the show to find out. When we get back home, pack up. I'll tell you what. What do you have to say? I'm sorry, honey. You was a slam dog. Huh? You was a dog. That's it. How you do that to me, yo? That's so messed up. Sonny, are you ready? I'm ready. You're sticking with the story. You're going down with the ship. You're not getting in a rowboat. We asked you three questions. Sonny, since you and Karen have been together, have you had any sexual relations with any other woman? No. You said no. That was a lie. Since you and Karen have been together, you have you had sexual relations with any of your neighbors? You said no. no. That was a lie.
Man, it's a lie, man. man. What it's a lie, man. man. It's a lie, man. It's a lie, man. I swear, man. I swear, man. I swear, man. I want to tell you this. What you did? I'm saying it. Whatever. You a liar. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I would have been there. Take it. Take it. We got number three. We got one more, Karen. It's okay. I wouldn't have been there. Sonny, you a liar. Have you had sexual relations with any of Karen's family members? You said no, and that was a lie, too. Are you Stay tuned, a lot more coming up. Stay right there. Is your ex trying to ruin your life? If you want to get him or her out of your life for good, maybe we can help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-USK-BILL or text guest at 95902. Of course, message and data rates may apply. Let's put the cheese on the cracker. Closed captioning of the Bill Cunningham Show is provided. You're lying, man. Words you a lie, yo. You always lying. I hate me. Been physical with any female. I don't I believe that. Confessions. Felina confessed that over the past month she's been having sex with another man. And lies. That was a lie, too. Are you serious? If you had sexual relations with any of your neighbors, you said no. no. That was a lie. <laughs> Couples today stay together or separate based upon these LDTs. Please welcome life coach Tia Brown in the show. Yeah, Tia. Tia Brown. I made a bet off stage with one of our security personnel that Sonny was going to pass this test. I bet him a hot foot Sonny. I'm buying him now two dips. So, so what do we do with my man Sonny here? What, where does this relationship go? This is a sad scenario. The thing is, nothing that she's heard is surprising. Yeah. You didn't believe that he was being faithful. And more than that, you weren't happy in the relationship. We I have to ask believe. ourselves, what does love look like? What does it feel like? And Not she wasn't like feeling loved, and she wasn't receiving love. So even if the lie detector test was wrong, you're not in a healthy situation, so you have to make a change. Yeah. Sonny, is there a little bit of consciousness of guilt? Do you understand that maybe you've done a few things for which you should offer an apology that no. Karen may accept in this relationship? Can and continue. Do you have any sense that you want to come clean with I mean, anything? I mean, I, 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 I apologize to her, but, but I haven't cheated on her. I haven't been with no female in no, in no sexual kind of way. Okay. Well, well, I don't care what you believe or not. I haven't. So if you haven't I been haven't. with anyone else, in addition, besides that, do you feel any of your other behavior is inappropriate? The going out I mean, late at night. I mean, that, that might be inappropriate. Okay. But I never, I never, I never done anything with a female. All right, Tia, let's you know move to your right because That's the I truth. think well, Antoine, a work here. Antoine and Felina, Felina is cheating currently, but she provides an right. excuse because of the lack of affection from Antoine. But Antoine been with like 35 family members and 27 of her friends. That's, that's crazy. Like with family well, I and think friends. this is a, a big issue. The biggest issue here is being afraid of change. Felina already knew that he wasn't being faithful, you weren't happy, and you didn't trust him. But you stayed because you were scared for something different. Sometimes we keep ourselves in a situation that we know is horrible and unhealthy just because we're scared of what's next. Right. You told him right. that you were going to leave because you weren't happy, and you're saying that you're unhappy too. It's time for what's next. Antoine, are you and good with this? Are you ready to move and on, I'm, or you want to? I'm out the dip. Now, I mean, I'm gonna call somebody to pick my bags up from my house. You're not gonna call to pick your bags up. They're gonna be on the porch. You know, another sad thing with this situation. He talks about how much he loved the kids. How could you say you love the kids and love being a father figure and treat her like this? Treat the kids like this. Nah, it They're ain't. an image of me. Ain't none of us wrong. We equal now. No I mean? equal? Yeah, we equal. No I mean? we equal? You okay. cheated, I cheated. My family you know what member saying? 35 times. It the don't friends, matter how many seconds. times. You may have done a parking ticket. You may have been a felony, but they're both wrong. Yeah, they're they're both both wrong. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. What if it continues to find life? For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Should Gloria stay out of her brother's relationship? Call 
Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL right now. When it comes to lying to your loved one, here's the bottom line. Trust is the foundation of every loving relationship, and lies are the enemy of trust. So if you want to build a sturdy house on a rock-solid base, just don't lie in the first place. And better yet, before doing something that you're going to have to lie about later, just don't do it in the first place, Sonny. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. Liar. I didn't lie, man. I didn't lie, man. I didn't lie, man. Go ahead on, sir.